I'm standing in front of a model that has a whole lot of very good memories for me. It's a model that was built by one of my dearest friends of my entire life named John Kiker. John Kiker was an engineer with NASA and actually was one of the original engineers that started up the space program when NASA moved to Houston. Mr. Kiker was an engineer who worked on the parachutes and the recovery systems for all of the early spacecraft, the Mercury, the Gemini, the Apollo, and then moved on into the shuttle, and at that point he was head of the mechanisms branch. Well, NASA's original plan for getting the space shuttle from California back to the launch site at, at uh, Cape Canaveral in Florida had been to load a bunch of fuel tanks into the cargo bay, hang a bunch of engines under the wings, put in controls for it, and fly the space shuttle like a big airliner from California to Cape Canaveral, and then have to turn around and remove all that equipment from the shuttle, load it up with satellites and payloads, and send it back to space again. John Kiker realized this was going to be almost unworkable, certainly extremely unwieldy. And on his own, he came up with the idea of putting the space shuttle on the back of the 747. NASA initially did not agree with it, didn't think it would work, so he built models like the one that I'm standing in front of right now, which is almost an exact model of a space shuttle and an almost exact model of a Boeing 747, and demonstrated using radio-controlled models, demonstrated to NASA that we could fly the vehicles in this configuration, that we could separate them to do the approach and landing tests that were done with the Space Shuttle Enterprise back in 1977, and prove that this was a totally viable concept. The models convinced the management at NASA the program was changed entirely to implement this scheme that John Kiker came up with on his own, and he in turn was rewarded with a presidential citation from the President of the United States in 1978, recognizing him for his individual and singular contribution that he made to the space program through the use of model aircraft.